G'day my YouTube friends, how's everyone going? My name's Caroline and this is my weekly wrap up. Alright, so as you can see, I've done a bit of shopping this week. I'm really excited to show you all this. So I went to Sephora and got some new makeup and some beauty products, which I can show you guys, as well as this cute little bag. So I'll move this off to the side. And we'll start with this little thing because this has a bit of a backstory. So <laughs> I was down in Victoria for Christmas and I went into a shop, which is this brand, which is called Decuba. Um, I've got a couple of other things from this shop. Really nice accessories, beautiful clothing as well. They're, they're more a clothing store, but they do accessories as well. Um, and I saw this bag and it's a, one of those situations where it's like, I should have bought it when I saw it and I didn't. And then I regretted it. I went back into the store a couple of days later, so sold Ugh. went online sold Ugh. so then i went into my local store and what do you know there was one left i couldn't believe it so it was meant to be right so i'm so excited because i think this is really cute it's a little sling bag it's a denim wash beautiful lined really nice with uh light blue denim the zipper works great everything's great quality um yeah, it's just so beautiful. And what's really cute is that uh, these straps are lovely and nice and thick and it's extendable. I don't know. I just really, really love this bag and I cannot believe I just didn't get it when I saw it. So this bag was $59.95, uh, but because I it's you know free to join just to sign up to their mailing list, you get 10% off uh, of purchases when you shop there. So I got 10% off that, so it was just over 50 bucks. So I'm really excited to um, get this bag and yay, I finally got it. <laughs> okay, so then Sephora, I did some uh, damage control over there. So first up actually, before we get into Sephora, because this is just a little purchase from Big W, these are just these little mini setting puffs, which I think are really cute. And I, I wanted to try them. So yeah, I, cause I just have normally like a powder, puff thing like one size or a powder brush uh, but to try these I'm excited so though they they weren't that expensive I can't even remember how much they were but this is where the money comes into play so I've gone and purchased a lot of the just all Fenty products and if you weren't sure Fenty is uh, Rihanna's line so yeah beautiful stuff I've not I've actually not had this before so I've bought all new makeup for her range so first up is this, which is called uh, Blurring Skin Tint. But basically what it is, it's just a lightweight foundation. Because um, I don't really like that thick feeling of makeup on my face. I don't really wear, I don't wear makeup every day. I only wear makeup when I'm doing something special, going out. Otherwise, yeah, I'm pretty much a just a face cream kind of gal. <laughs> um, maybe a tinted moisturizer. But yeah, I just normally wear makeup when i'm doing things so but i just wanted to up my my makeup game and this is why i thought this is a great opportunity i wanted to treat myself i went shopping it was great so here we have uh concealer so this is wear even concealer hydrating long wear concealer and what i love is the little brush tip on this one so it's kind of curved so it can go on your eye really nice under your eye i should say <laughs> not on your eye <laughs> so that's that um, and then what's next? We have Fenty Beauty in Visimat. So this is blotting powder. So this is just your powder, but it's actually um, uh, trans translucent, transparent. I don't know what they're calling it, but it's basically no color. It just uses your own skin tone, which is nice. Next up we have, oh, I'm excited to show you this. I, I've i tried this on as the, in the tester in store, loved it. So this is called a matchstick and this is a contour and I'm using this as like my bronzer, right? But what I like about the color is just beautiful. Um, but what I like is it's not a powder. It's actually, look at that. And we, even with my finger, it just blurs. It's it's beautiful. I cannot wait to do some, have some fun putting on, putting on a layer of paint, <laughs> basically. So that's that. And if you were wondering what color that was, that's an amber 01. That's, it's just, it's beautiful. It doesn't, it's not, it's not sticky. It's dry now already. It's, it's just beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. Her products are lovely. Not endorsed. Didn't get paid to say this. <laughs> 
um i didn't get i paid for these so here we have fenty beauty cheeks out this is a cream blush now i'm excited to try this as well um because i have powdered uh, blushes but i don't have a cream blush and this was something i'm really excited to show uh, and try because i just want to hide this because it's got a little mirror um it is beautiful so i'm just going to use my finger and blur this one out as well and it's just such a pretty color oh beautiful okay again i just can't wait to do a full face now um and this is the color cheeks out oh sorry no that's the thing it's called petal poppin number two she had so many different colors in her range too it was there was it was hard there was a couple of different to red tones but this one just matched on my skin the nicest out of the lot but there was another one which i might go back for who knows uh this oh i've got this is what i probably should have started with so this is what they call in the business primer so this is what you would put on your skin before doing a whole face of makeup and this one is called the because there was three different types this is the true matte pro filter and i tell you it is so smooth it's not oily and that is what you put on first hydrates your skin at the you know just gives you a smooth base basically oh, and it feels so nice on the skin all her products the packaging like not so much the boxes i mean i mean the actual containers of everything it's just so cute too just put a bit of effort into that and then the lucky last is actually not a Fenty product. I purchased this as I was lining up at the queue at the checkout. So this is the brand Ultraviolet. And I actually use this product in liquid form. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, great little thing to have for the bag. This is the SPF 50. So every day you should be putting sunscreen on your face, especially where we live where the sun is strong um but this is a spritzer version so i i think this is great so once you so i can even still put some on under my makeup right and then i can even spritz a little bit on top i don't know this is just great for the bag you know if you feel you're out and about and you feel you know sometimes your nose starts getting a bit sore because you're thinking i'm getting burnt right now you can just spray some on because another thing is with with sunscreen it's so greasy this brand isn't greasy i don't know it's really lightweight sunscreen it's a great brand if you've not heard of it ultraviolet really great so there are the products that i've splurged on now let me tell you all of this just alone came to like 380 something dollars <laughs> it's not cheap makeup is not cheap and i love those tiktoks of women you know and their boyfriends partners whatever and they go you know <laughs> you can go to the sephora you know honey <laughs> here's some money and they give her like a hundred bucks and she she goes that's not gonna be enough <laughs> come on keep going and it's not this is great most of these products are around fifty dollars each crazy right so yeah anyway i'm i'm still excited i'm happy i purchased these i wanted to splurge myself treat myself gosh these will last me ages ages because i don't wear makeup that often uh, but when i do wear it i like to have some nice quality makeup especially because i spend a bit of money actually on like face skincare uh, face washes face creams so to then go and put a really bad makeup on my face will only counteract all the good i'm doing the other way so this is why i like to to spend and purchase more quality makeup i'm grateful i'm in that position to do so but don't get me wrong i've used all the stuff from coles woolies and that's just been just as fine i just i wanted to treat myself really so um yeah i'm really stoked to have all these products so i'm going to get into the cash i'm stuffing now all right so now i need to take out some money so I'll grab this because not only have I spent a bit of money, I've also got my two tires fixed and I also had some birthdays. So we will be taking out quite a bit of money. So we're gonna to go to cash and we are going to take out $500. And I could take this out of head to toe, but I just feel like this, I just wanna take it out of here and then I, I can build this one back up. So uh, 28th minus 500 which will leave me with 250 so 20 40 60 81 52 53 54 5 
1, 2, 50, sorry, 1, 52, 53, 54, 20, 40, 60, 80, perfect. Which will leave me with 250, which it has. Then we have to go to car. Now the tires were $175 each, so that's 350 bucks I have to take out. So let's do 152, 53. No, 152, 53, 50. Oh, okay, so 1, 2, 53, 50. There we go. 1, 2, 53, 50. Sorry. <laughs> Which will leave me with 2,150. So 28th of the first minus 350, 2,150. Uh, this is why I love having money in my car envelope because times like this where unexpected costs come into play, um, it's awesome that you're able to have the money there. Okay, so 580, I'm going to be taking out $300 from here. So one, two, three, because that's 80. Okay, so 28th of the first minus 300, which is going to leave me with 1, 2, 80. Alright, and then that's it, thankfully. Alright, so let's see how much damage we've done. And don't worry, these hundreds, I will be using them in my weekly, oh, sorry, end of month cash exchange before I take them back to the bank. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, 1,000, 1,050, 70, 90, 1,110, 30, and 50. 1,150 bucks is all here being taken out and that will go back to the bank. But there we go, that is the cash on stuffing. And before I end, I just wanna tell you guys about a couple of movies that I've watched this week. So I did go to the movies this week and saw the movie Priscilla. Uh, I used my gift card. I've got a few of them from Christmas still and birthday. So I was able to utilize one of them. Um, I didn't really like the movie. Uh, mm. I don't know, it just wasn't my cup of tea, but you know, not saying that it won't be someone else's cup of tea. It didn't paint actually Elvis in a really pretty picture, uh, but obviously it's from Priscilla's side of things. So this is her experience and her, her story. Um, so it is more from her, uh, but it's not even that. It was more the directing styling choice, like the lighting of the whole production. Like when they were inside, I just felt like I was squinting a lot in the movies. Like I couldn't quite see because they just chose to use a dark filter setting on the, on the camera or something. I don't know. I just didn't really enjoy it. I thought the story was a bit slow going and I don't know, but he's really great. Um, Aussie actor, Jacob Elordi, and he's just really becoming more and more popular now, isn't he? Um, and then the other show that I've been hooked on, I am so late to this bandwagon. You guys might have already watched it because it has been out for a while now. They've even got season two out now as well, which is Welcome to Wrexham. So this is a docu-series with Ryan Reynolds and Rob, I can never remember his last name. He's a guy, an actor as well, a TV show actor. And together, they come together and they purchase Wrexham Football Club, which is in Wales, in um, over in the UK. And basically what they do is they convert they try and make this a popular club again because they're in a certain they're in a lower tier in the football league and they want to try and push them up you know by adding funds obviously a lot of funds into the club um and then that helps boost the township it's you know it's a very loyal town to its club which is what you kind of learn from from the documentary which is great um and you know this pulled club Club has been in this low tier for so many years for over a decade and you know to try and get it out it really is exciting the whole town um, and then obviously with Ryan Reynolds and this other Rob guy who's quite popular as well uh, they're building like such a popularity around it it's great it's a really it's funny at times too it's very serious at times it's a great docuseries if you've not watched it definitely give it a go it's over on Disney um, I really enjoyed it I was giggling I was you know 
you're so involved in the story at the same time but then ryan comes out and says something hilarious and you're like cacking yourself so yeah definitely give that a go and also let me know i meant to mention too when i was showing off my fenty products let me know if you guys have the, that brand as well or if you think there's another brand that you prefer to wear for the makeup uh let me know so that is my weekly wrap up i hope you're having a great sunday take care and i'll see you in the next one bye for now bye